A 2 kilogram block is pushed against a vertical wall. 2 kilogram block, vertical wall, horizontal force is 50 Newton. The coefficient of static friction between the block and the ball is 0.5. A force F is also applied on the block vertically upwards. The maximum value of F applied so that the block does not move upward will be. So we'll choose this flowchart to um, to use the method to solve to solve the problem. We'll first visualize it. So we've done the visualization here. We'll use the frame of reference, so which in this case is this case is inertial frame of reference. I'm choosing a man outside the system here who is at rest. We identify the system, which is the block and the wall system here. And then we'll isolate the body, which is the block here. And then we'll go for sigma fx and sigma y. But before we do this, what I want you to tell me is, I have a very similar question. Okay, I have a very similar question. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe before that, I'll just give you the the free body diagram. So the free body diagram of this block here is two kilogram is like this. By virtue of being in contact with the by virtue of being co in contact with this block here, with this wall here, the wall will exert a normal reaction on the block, right? Which will be normal reaction on the two kilogram mass due to the wall. Now, there is additional force acting in the. Okay, now I think since I've taken this all the way around the direction should change right okay but doesn't anyway doesn't matter because the action will act on the other side that should be a problem here okay so now uh, 50 newton is acting in the opposite side right okay now vertically f is acting upwards we know that since the body is it does not move upward right so the maximum value of so that the block does not move upward it means it means the body when the f is maximum the body is trying to move upwards therefore friction will try to bring it We'll try to bring it downwards. Okay. Now, when friction will try to bring it downwards, static friction is coming into picture here because there is no relative motion between these two bodies. Therefore, static friction will act downwards. Mg will act downwards. Now, my question to you, to you here is, what if I gave you the same wordings in the question, replacing the maximum value my bad replacing this maximum value by minimum do you think the answer would vary do you think there would be a difference in the free body diagram do you think there will be a difference in the approach of this question altogether okay let me know let me know about this think 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 you know pause yourself think for a while and try to visualize the situation or maybe what you can do is you can take your, you know, you can maybe you can take your, take your eraser or or anything which is which resembles a block, and you can keep it on a, a slide, on a, on a on a vertical wall, and try giving minimum and maximum force, and try to think about the direction of friction there. Let me know about it. Okay. Right. So, so that's it with the um, the question. Everything else is very direct here. So we assume that uh, the body is. Is is moving only along is not is moving only along the y-axis. There is no motion along the there is no motion on the x-axis. Therefore, sigma f x will be equal to zero. And if sigma f x will be equal to zero, it simply implies that forces acting along the left should be equal to forces acting along the right. The only force acting along the left is normal reaction on two due to the wall, which will be equal to the only force acting to the right is 50 newton. So this will be equal to 50 newton, right? Now, when we say sigma f y is equal to zero, we also need to understand that the body does not move in the y axis. Why? Because we assume because we assume that the relative motion relative motion is not happening, right? The relative, there's no relative motion between the block and the wall. However, there's some tendency, and which will be opposed with the friction. So, forces acting upwards should be equal to forces acting downwards. Now, what are the forces acting upwards? The only force acting upward is f, the, ex f, the external force. Downward forces mg, and then we have static friction. What is static friction? We have to consider that the value here is actually equal to limiting limiting friction, which is equal to mu into n. What is n? n is 50 newton. So we have mu given to us as 0.5. Therefore, it is 0.5 into 50. Mass is 2 kilogram, 2 into 10. 20 plus 0.5 into 50 is 25. 20 plus 25 is 45 newton. To be to be more precise, to be more precise, what we need to understand here is 
the case of friction here is limiting friction what is limiting friction it is the limit of static friction it is maximum limit of to be more precise it should be the the maximum limit of static friction which is 25 newton which therefore means which therefore means that if you apply if you apply 1 newton force static friction value between 1 newton if you apply 10 newton force static friction value would be 10 newton if you apply 25 newton force the value of static friction would be 25 newton we have discussed this in very detail in a different uh, solution i just wanted to give you the you know um, 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 a rough recall about the topic here okay so that's that now also we need to keep this in mind that f greater than 45 newton what will happen the body will start to move now when f is equal to 45 newton the body is at rest also when f is less than 45 newton the body is at rest therefore we should actually be telling this answer to be we should be telling this answer as f is less than or equal to 45 newton okay so that's that's the concept here so since the maximum value is being asked we can say that the value is 45 newton right i hope I, ho I hope you're able to get the concept here okay so that's it with this question so please make sure that you 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 know you you go through this you go through this um, alternative question that i've that i've given to you here think of it and let me know what the you know it, it's, it, it wouldn't be a very brainstorming one but if you can visualize that then you know then you'll you'll be able to appreciate the concept of friction even very well okay right so let's move on to the next question